Hi all, Henry here. Um, I thought I would do this as um, a tag video, and I'm going to tag my friend Dave. So I am sending this to him in email, and um, I would really like it if he would make a video about this and spread it around to his friends. And anybody else who watches this is welcome to make a response as well. Um, I know that Dave has done tags for me in the past, but it would be nice if he would do a response. Um, my question, and by the way, anybody is allowed and invited to um, subscribe to me and like my videos and and do whatever you want to do. So yeah, I really try to be friendly and kind to people. So whatever, but the point of this video is to ask, what have you been reading lately? And one of my latest books is Dear Church, a love letter to a love letter from a black preacher to the whitest denomination in the US by Lenny Duncan. Um, Lenny Duncan is um, a black preacher for the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, which is the same church that I'm in. We are Lutheran. We are probably the most liberal denomination. And um, Pastor Duncan is basically saying that even though we are very liberal and very welcoming to a lot of different people, um, we have an issue with people who are not white. And that may be true. I have not noticed it. The only thing that I've noticed is that I have not seen any black people in my congregation when our church was open. I have seen about um, one quarter to one third Latino, but he's right. There are a lot of white people in the church, and that comes from a lot of us being of European stock, which is mostly German and Scandinavian, mostly Norwegian in the Scandinavian region. So there's not a lot of black people over there, and not a lot of Mexicans, and not a lot of Puerto Ricans, and not a lot of people who are different from that. So yes, um, and we have tried to welcome people from other places, and we have been somewhat successful because we have that small segment of our denomination. I don't know if it's changed since the pandemic, but this is a very thoughtful, very interesting, and very passionate book. And uh, I really did enjoy reading it. I'm I'm about halfway to two-thirds through it, and it is rather an easy read, but it is also um, emotionally charged, I think is the proper way to say it. So if you want to read it, or if you want to read any other book that I might suggest in the future, I would really appreciate it. You know, I before I went legally blind, I used to be able to polish off a 200-page book in about three days, and 
since my optic nerves went on me, um, that has slowed down. I can mostly follow it at the speed that my echo or my candle can read. So, um, I do a lot of audible books and a fair amount of Kindle books when I can afford them. So, um, yeah. So tell me what you, what you have been reading, if you have read this one, and what else you would suggest to me. Okay? That's it. Take care. Have a great day.